What's up, everybody? Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer from Spetzel Brewery, which you may know better as Shiner in Shiner, Texas. This is their Cosmos Reserve. Uh, so Shiner Bach is probably the most common beer seen uh, in this from this brewery. Uh, though I've noticed more of their IPA called Wicked Ram around recently, and uh, a couple of the seasonals. Uh, make appearances at their respective times too on a pretty common basis. The the Ruby Redbird, which is a now a year round, but a, a grapefruit beer that was originally a summer seasonal, along with the the holiday cheer beer that they make. Um, again, get get fairly get fairly widespread distribution. Um, I find that China overall is generally not highly regarded by the uh, the, the the craft beer snobs, if you will. Um, but for me personally, Shiner was kind of one of the very first entrances into the, the world of craft beer. Um, they have the uh, Shiner family of beers, which is what they call their sampler pack. And they brought a, a, a number of different styles, which was, uh, which was nice for when I was starting out. They usually had a, a blonde and some kind of uh, a light beer, but also like a black lager. And uh, this beer as well, amongst a couple others. Um, so I, I got a, a six-pack of that recently, and we'll be trying a couple of these uh, over the next few months. But for right now, this is, the uh, again, the Cosmos Reserve. Uh, from the brewer, the original brewmaster of Shiner, Cosmos Spetzel knew how to brew great beer. Born in Bavaria, Cosmos' mastery of German brewing carried him as far as Egypt before his, he found his way to the small Texas town of Shiner. Our proud brewery still carries his name and commitment to excellence in brewing. This full-flavored hop-jacked lager is every bit as unique as the man himself, and our way of saluting the brewmaster who started it all. Prosit. Uh, checks in at 5% ABV and 18 IBU. Let's pour. Nice golden color, kind of venturing into almost orangish. Um, not a lot of head, maybe just a maybe a quarter of a finger's worth. Not a whole lot. Uh, plenty of carbonation shooting up through the glass. Pretty color, um, almost completely see-through, except for maybe at the thickest point of the uh, of the glass. But um, yeah, let's drink. Uh, tons and tons of malt, uh, lots of biscuity, crackery malts, maybe just a hint of a caramel malt, malt uh, kind of thing as well. Probably some herbal notes uh, just coming from the hops as well. Um, overall, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly complex, uh, pretty tasty too. It, um, it had been a while since I had any of these Shiner beers, and so I wasn't sure. Having a little bit more of a develop, developed palate, I wasn't sure how they would hold up, but uh, this uh, reserve actually does uh, taste pretty good. Quite straightforward, just a couple notes. Again, biscuity, breading malts are really the first thing. The herbal bit kind of comes in the back. I would say the caramel is probably kind of in the middle. So a little bit of a ride through uh, that whole beer, and um, yeah, solid entry. Nothing, uh, nothing spectacular, but um, certainly very drinkable, quite tasty, uh, nice. Uh, that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, next time, which will be coming this weekend, we're going to be checking out a pair of Blood Orange Pails. Uh, that'll be this come this weekend, likely on Sunday. I'm gonna try to get into a uh, a Tuesday, Thursday, and then one one weekend day uh, broadcasting schedule for uh, well beer videos, not necessarily beer reviews, but mostly beer reviews. But I'll try to do three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and once on the weekend, most likely Sunday. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. 
Those links are in the description below, and if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.